This is a fox that has been on Facebook recently. He had a severe mange when he came in. Um, he's now had his second treatment. They have three altogether, sometimes four. He's also been on antibiotics because it was so bad there's liable to be secondary infection. Um, he will go back where he came from. He will definitely survive this. They do survive mange. But the trouble is at this time of year, as soon as he finishes treatment, if it was the middle of summer, we could put him back where he came from. But because it's so cold at this time of year and there's going to be so much fur loss, we have to wait until the fur is grown back enough to keep him at least moderately warm until the weather gets warmer. Um, but he's doing well and making good progress. We've got two more foxes in at the moment. Um, the one has already had a hind leg amputated. Now this is a, an operation that um, can be done sometimes on some foxes. They don't all cope with it and it depends on the situation they're going back to. This particular fox uh, lives behind somebody's house in a, a countryside location. He was... he was fed every day in the garden before he got caught in a fence, um, which is why he had to have his leg amputated. So he's a well-known fo fox that, well, that visits the garden every day. Once the um, operation site is fully healed, he will be able to go back where he came from and will continue to be fed every day, which is great. The other one we have has still got all four legs at the moment, but it's looking very much like he may have to have a, a hind leg amputated as well. This one may not cope on three legs and it's going to be quite a, a long period of time that he has to be assessed in a large enclosure here so we can see whether we think that he'll, he'll survive out in the wild. Right, we've got a badger in here at the moment. He's just come in and Marty went out and picked him up. He was actually seen at half past one this morning in a, in a pub car park um, and the chap went home went back this morning and Badger was still there so he called us. Um, in actual fact we have got an emergency call out line for 24-7 uh, for large mammal casualties so we can be running in the middle of the night for a fox, badger, deer. This one um, is just being x-rayed at the moment. There's possibly a problem with his spine as he was dragging both back legs when he was found. So it doesn't look very good but we'll see what the x-rays show. Unfortunately, it's been put to been put to sleep. Um, which, on the one hand, you look at as a, a failure in what we're doing, because the whole idea of what we do is to take in an injured wild animal, fix it, and put it back in the wild where it should be. Um, but you can turn that around and look at it from the other point of view. If we left that badger where it was, it would have died a very long and painful death. There's no way it would have recovered because a dislocation like that wouldn't recover. So. It is a success in the in the fact that we've stopped his suffering, put him put him out of just any more suffering. So you can look at it from both ways, and it's very sad, um, but it is the nature of this job. Unfortunately, there are quite a few animals that come in that are far too badly injured to to do anything about, except put them out of their misery, if you like. So I've just got a hedgehog here that's in the hog unit, which is probably around about our third stage in the hospital. So some of our smaller ones from inside, when they get big enough, will come out to this unit. And this one um, has come out yesterday and has in fact been put on a diet because it is too heavy. I'm just going to give it a little weigh for today. So the diet's working. <laughs> it's gone down a little bit since yesterday and it's now 965 grams. We tend to put them on a diet out here when they reach a thousand grams. That's getting a little bit large for a hedgehog and they struggle to curl up. 
So this guy's not fully curled because he's just got a little bit of a belly. And then we just put them back into a clean cage. Okay. So this is one of our outside units where the hedgehogs from the hog unit um, can come in here. And uh, actually they roam around <laughs> together. So they've got, um, we've got uh, several in here. I actually couldn't tell you where they all are. They all get in there together and make themselves a perfect little nest out of this straw. So we're trying to use more natural materials out here. So it's more likely what the kind of thing they would find in the wild. Um, and then they have to come out and forage around for the food that we put down for them in the evenings. Um, different to the inside, outside we don't feed them in the mornings. Um, inside they get their food in the mornings, outside we put their food down in the evenings again. So it's mimicking natural behaviour, they'd be foraging at night and not all day. That's what we want them to do is to sleep all day and come out at night. Um, and then hopefully from here they'd be ready to go for release. This is a little milk jack, this is my old milk jack. Came into us almost four weeks ago now. Uh, it's about half the weight he is now. Um, he was brought here and he was found alone, which is a pretty normal thing for fawns to be left alone for hours on end while mum goes off to feed. Um, he was picked up and taken home and fed on cow's milk, which isn't good for them, and was then brought into us. Um, he does appear to be tame, um, which people would think isn't a good thing, but he will only get tame to the people who are feeding him, and we limit the number of people feeding him just to a couple of people. So he gets used to their voice, he's used to my voice, which is why he's not panicking now. Um, but as he gets older, he will start to sort of shy away from me as well and from the other people who are feeding him. Um, so he will only be tamed. If anybody else spoke in front of him, he would just freak out. So he is only used to us. And this is the way we rear deer for release back into the wild. And when he goes back into the wild, he won't be in the slightest bit tame.